Hello guitaristas, my name is Adina and you are watching the Spanish Guitar Hub and today we are going to have a look of the major scale and its modes. We are going to analyze them and we will see how some scales are major or minor and what kind of chords you can use over them. If you would like to have the tabs for this lesson, they are available on my Patreon campaign. So please join to my Patreon students to get some help with these or with other lessons. What is a scale? A scale is a series of notes. And we are going to look at the major scale and the major scale consists of seven notes. And in this case, we are going to have a look at the C major scale and these seven notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. What are the modes? The modes are starting positions within the scale. If we look at the C major scale, the first mode will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And the second mode will start on the D, but it will be exactly the same notes. So it will be D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Before we have a look at the modes separately, we need to have a look at the intervals because they are the key to realize what are the scales, what chords you can use over them and why it sounds happy or sad. We have 12 notes which equals to 12 intervals, which is the distance between notes. So they are root note, minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect four, flat five, perfect 5, minor 6, major 6, minor 7th, and major 7th. Now let's have a look at the first mode of the major scale, which is called Ionian. A lot of people also call this mode the C major scale because it is actually where it starts and it sounds like very major as well. And it is also called C Ionian because it starts on the C. I listed the sequence of the notes starting from the C with the intervals and I highlighted where are the notes and what are the intervals. So we have root note, major second, major third, perfect four, perfect five, major six and major seven. That's why this scale sounds very happy because all of the intervals are major and of course we have the perfect four, perfect five and root note inside. Second mode of the scale is Dorian. The Dorian actually have the same notes as the Ionian, although it starts in a different position. That's why it sounds a little bit different when I play this. So let's have a look of the series of the notes from the D and let's match it with our intervals again. The intervals didn't change, the sequence of the note has changed because it starts now from the D. So our notes for this scale is root note, major second, minor third, perfect four, perfect five, major sixth and minor seventh. Third mode, Phrygian. Now we started our sequence on the E and that's why it is also called E Phrygian. This is actually the scale that lots of flamenco and Spanish guitarists are using as well and they improvise over this scale a lot to have this special sound. Now let's match the sequence of the notes starting from the E with or intervals and let's see what kind of notes we have in the intervals. So we have root note, minor second, minor third, perfect four, perfect five, minor six and minor seven. So this scale is like a very minor sounding scale because everything is minor except the, the four and the five and the root note. Next mode of the major scale is Lydian. Now our starting position is F, that's why it is also called F Lydian. So let's list our sequence of the notes starting from the F with the intervals and let's see what kind of intervals we have inside. 
We have root node, major second, major third, flat five, perfect five, major six, and major seventh. So here the flat five gives the special Lydian sound. Next mode, mixolydian. This mode is also called G mixolydian because it is starting on the G. And let's have a look at what kind of intervals we have in this scale. We have root note, major second, major third, perfect four, perfect five, major six, and minor seventh. Now, this scale can be really important later on because the seventh is a minor, although the third is a major, so it will become a dominant seventh chord later on. We will have a look at later this one as well. And uh, that's why it is important because when you hear a dominant chord in one song, it can be an indication what is the key um, or what major scale you can use over those chords. Next mode, Aeolian. Now we started on the A, so it is also called A Aeolian, and this is also the minor scale. So it's a little bit funny because we are looking at the major scale, but the minor scale is inside the major scale. It is the sixth mode of the major scale. Now let's have a look at what kind of intervals we have in this scale. So we have root note, major second, minor third, perfect four, perfect five, minor six, and minor seventh. The last mode of the major scale is Locrian. We started on the B, so it is also called B Locrian. So let's have a look what kind of intervals we have in this one. We have root node, minor second, minor third, perfect four, flat five, minor six, and minor seventh. This scale is quite important as well because if you have a look at the fifth note of this scale is flat five and the fifth note is very important when you make chords. So that's why we will have a different chord, this time not a major or a minor or a seventh, it will be a diminished chord. Now that we had a look at the modes and the intervals, let's have a look at what kind of chords you can use over the major scale. We can do this in two different ways. At first, we are going to have a look at if we are using the first, the third, and the fifth notes of the modes. And also, we will have a look at if we use the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh notes of these modes. Now, I listed all of the modes, and I highlighted the first, the third, and the fifth note. The first mode is Ionian, which starts on C, so then it will be a C chord, and we have a major third and a perfect five, which is a formula for a major chord, so the first chord will be C major. The second mode is Dorian, the root note is D, so it will be a D chord, but this time we have a minor third and a perfect five, which is a formula for a minor chord, so the next chord is D minor. The next mode is Phrygian, root note is E, and we have a minor third and perfect five, so we have E minor. The next mode is Lydian, the root note is F, and we have major third and perfect five, so our chord will be F major. The next mode is Mixolydian, and we have root note as a G, so it will be a G chord, and we have major third and perfect five, so it is a G major. The next mode is Aeolian, and the root note is A, and we have a minor third and a perfect five, so we have an A minor. And the last mode is a little bit different because instead of a perfect five, we have a flat five, so that's why we have a little bit of mysterious sound, and this is B diminished.
Now let's have a look at if you are using four notes to make a chord. First mode, Ionian, root note, major third, perfect five, and major seventh. So it will be a C major seventh. Next mode, Dorian. We have root note, minor third, perfect five, and minor seventh. So it will be a D minor seventh. Next mode, Phrygian. So we have root note, minor third, perfect five, and minor seventh. So it will be an E minor seventh. The next mode is Lydian. We have root note, major third, perfect five, and major seventh. So it will be an F major seventh. The next chord is Mixolydian. So we have root note, major third, perfect five, and minor seventh. Now this is a different chord because this is a formula of the dominant seventh because we have a major third but a minor seventh. So this chord is uh, quite important and it can help you to figure out a key of a song when you hear a dominant seventh in it. Next mode, Aeolian and it is root note, minor third, perfect five and minor seventh. So we have an A minor seventh. And our last mode is Locrian. So we have root note, minor third, flat five and minor seventh. So we have B half diminished. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button or subscribe for more videos like this because I'm uploading videos every Sunday. So see you guys next week with another guitar video. Thank you.